Welcome. In this tutorial, we will cover the chaptering, or sometimes known as bookmark dialog, which also uh, doubles as the go-to dialog. To begin with, we will open a media file. I'll pause it and open the chapter dialog. As you can see, there's several uh, sections to this dialog. To begin with, you can see the current position. Then you have uh, the time. You can go to a time, uh, to any time in the video through this dialog, or to a specific uh, frame in the video. And if uh, this checkbox is uh, enabled, then uh, pressing the go button will not close this uh, dialog, the chapter editor dialog. So, for example, if I want to uh, uh, go to second number 10, I can just uh, type uh, 10 and press the go button and it will go to second number 10. But if I type uh, 1 uh, and 5 seconds, uh, it will go to 1 minute 5 seconds. So you don't really have to input everything, uh, just uh, enough uh, information so the player knows where to seek. Same goes for the frame. Uh, next is the chaptering interface or sometimes referred to as the bookmark interface. Um, to begin with uh, we are now at 1 minute 5 seconds so let's just seek a little bit earlier to 14 seconds and add a chapter. This Let's call it uh, beginning of candy roll and then I click a chapter and you can see I have a chapter at the 14th second called beginning of candy roll. Uh, next I can go to let's say 34 seconds and let's call it chopping the candy and we add a second chapter then we'll head right to the end and we'll call this one inspecting the candy and we'll add it. Next to go to each chapter you can just double click it here as you can see or you can use uh, the more uh, uh, visual navigation interface which you can open through the navigation or through the keyboard as you can see it's alt n and then we have the same three chapters and simply double clicking on a chapter will go to the position within the chapter once we're satisfied with our chapters we can just save them by clicking the save button and you can see they are added as a chapter file with a zpchp file extensions and this resides in the same directory as the media file unless uh, the media is on a read-only uh, type uh, uh, media uh, such as uh, CD or DVD-ROM uh, in which case uh, the chapter files are saved in the Zoom player directory. You can rename chapters by clicking on the chapter and then selecting rename and giving it a new name. Uh, let's just type edit V as you can see and you can remove a chapter and you can re remove all of them and you can save. So if I remove all it will also ask me if to erase the chapter file. So if you type no it basically doesn't remove so I'll type yes and as you can see the file is now gone. Lastly you can use the next and previous chapter buttons which are these to seek within chapters. If there's no chapters defined it will seek to the next uh, or previous track in the playlist but if there are chapters defined uh, it will seek within the chapters first and if you pre uh, click on the next button uh, after the last chapter it will then seek to the next track. Uh, let me create a few chapters and give you an example of this. Um, 
is one chapter. You can also see a history of uh, chapters added. And finally, let's go uh, right to uh, second. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Okay, so now if I, for example, see here and then press, then uh, I should probably say first, and then press on the next chapter, you can see it's jumping to 14, then 51, then 100, uh, then 1 minute 27 seconds, seconds, and you get the point. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you'll come back again.